We developed the Oil Climate Index because oil is changing. There are now fracked oils, light tide oils, there are extra heavy oils. With the oil sands, there are ultra deep oils. There are so many new categories of oils that are coming into the marketplace, and they're really quite different from one another. And looking at their greenhouse gas impacts gives you a further differentiation on their different climate impacts. And we wanted to be able to measure those so that these oils could be compared to each other given all of the new choices in the market. The biggest surprise in doing the oil climate index to us was the lack of transparent data. We were very much shocked. There are hundreds if not thousands of different oils but there's very limited data, very limited open source data. We found data that we weren't able to use without express permission to use it, which is hard to get. We found data quite a bit actually, but it's not comparable data. It's not measured in a consistent way, so you can't use it to compare global oils to one another. Um, there was data that wasn't verifiable. It's just reported off the cuff, but you don't really have good sourcing for it. You need the oil climate index in order to pick and choose wisely between global oils in a warming world. But you need transparent data in order to run these oils through the oil climate index to have good open source verifiable data. So this underlying data is going to be critical. It's not only critical to the oil climate index, it's critical for investors, it's critical for companies, it's critical for the public, it's important for safe handling of these oils. So the knowledge that underpins oils and oil choice is going to be a very important issue, something that was highlighted in this project, but it's important to this project and beyond. There's an abundance of oils in the earth, and we're gonna to have to learn how to pick and choose much more wisely. That's not only important for the climate, which is what the Oil Climate Index is about, but it's very important in terms of the marketplace because this infrastructure lasts generations. So if you're going to invest in infrastructure, whether it's refineries, pipelines, different types of marine tankers, these are infrastructure that lasts sometimes 40, 50, 60 years. It really will matter in terms of comparing these oils of which ones have the lowest impact and then investing in those oils with the lowest impact first. There are many stakeholders when it comes to making oil decisions. So the better the information, the more transparent, the easier it will be for them to make decisions. You have the oil industry, obviously, but you have also independent producers, you have investors, you have traders, you have the public, you have policymakers. There are so many different voices in, this, in, this, in these decisions that get made. And the hope is that the Oil Climate Index will bring transparency to the market, will bring climate on par with decisions that are also economic and geopolitical, because oil is both economic and geopolitical, but climate is one of those things that can't be ignored any longer. Mm -hmm.